All right, Castle here again. What we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at a, uh, another review video. It's going to be a review of uh, the fascial fitness training routine. But we're going to just bump this up a little bit. We're going to use we're going to use a Bosu ball in this routine. It's going to increase the intensity and what's called the pretensioning portion of the movement pattern that we're going to do. Try to remember uh, from the either the reading or the last time I uh, did a video on this. There are there are two major uh, concepts that we got to keep track of here. One is that we have to create movement patterns where we create a pretension or a stretch before we contract. Okay, and the second uh, the the second component is that we have to uh, come up with ways to do this. One, the first way is called the, the slow dynamic stretch. The second way is called the fast dynamic stretch. All right, we're going to look at three, the same three areas, the, the uh, abdominal fascia, the lateral line, and the thoracolumbar fascia. Except what we're going to do is we're going to try to divide uh, each component into an upper and lower piece. So we've got upper abs, lower abs, upper lateral line, lower lateral line, and uh, upper thoraco, thoracolumbar, which is really the lower back, and the lower thoracolumbar spine is going to be the glutes. Okay? And, you know, basically what we're going to do is, th this is going to ratchet up the intensity a little tiny bit. The most, the, the biggest problem here is just figuring out how to get balanced over the BOSU ball. Once you get that under your belt, uh, you'll be fine. Alright, so let's, let's take a look at this. We're going to start out with the, the uh, abdominal fascia. Uh, here's a concept that you got to keep in mind. If we're going to focus on our upper body, say our upper body's over here and our lower body's down here. If we want to focus on the upper body, we move our hips toward the lower body, to our feet. If we want to work on our lower body, we're going to get over the ball just a little bit more. We're going to move toward our shoulders. All right. So we're going to work the uh, the we're working the upper abs here. Okay. So we slide our hips down toward our feet a little bit. Straighten your legs so that you can reach over the ball. Okay, now this obviously this pretensioning, this position is a lot more pretension than it was when we were laying flat. And that's that's the purpose of this of using the Bosu ball. Alright, so we get over it, there's the pretension, contraction, pretension, contraction, pretension, contraction, pretension, contraction. When you do these, you might want to do 10 or 15 or even 20 of these things. Alright, I'm just gonna do three or four. Uh, because of the video. So, pretension, contraction, there we go, okay? Now, we want to switch that to the lower abdomen. So, what do we do? Well, hold on. First thing we want to do is go from the, that's the slow dynamic stretch. We want to get the fast dynamic stretch. So, we shift our hips a little bit more toward our feet. Straighten the legs and, you'll, and we get a soft bouncing motion. Like this. All right, that's the soft bouncing portion. So we've got the upper ab piece taken care of. All right. Now I'm gonna make sure I got this hand right where I can grip. Now we're gonna work the lower abdominal piece. So if we're gonna work the lower abdominal piece, I'm shifting my hips toward toward my head. I'm going to get a much better pretension on my lower abdomen. So the first thing we're going to do is the bilateral uh, exercise. Bilateral hip hinge. When you do the first hip hinge, don't do it with straight legs. Start up like this. So you start with a bent, bent knees. Then move into it. Okay, so here's the straight leg bilateral hip hinge. This is the slow dynamic stretch. Alright. Alright, 
right, so now if we want to turn in this into the fast dynamic stretch or what's known as a soft bouncing, we shift our hips even a little more toward our shoulders. And you can get into a soft bouncing pattern. Got to keep pushing your hands out so that you're keeping a, as much stretch as you can. All right, there's the soft bouncing. Okay, when you go to get off this ball, you want to protect your, protect your back. Don't try to sit up or anything like that. Just roll off to the side. Okay? All right. So that's the abdominal piece. Now we're going to get the uh, lateral line piece. Okay? Same concept. We've got upper lateral line, upper lateral line, we've got lower lateral line. So we're going to do the upper lateral line first. In order to do that, we shift our hips a little bit toward our feet. There's the pretension stretch position. There's the contraction. So we're pretension, contract. Pretension, contract. Pretension, contract. Pretension, contract. Okay. Now we want to get the, the, the soft bouncing piece. We're going to move over the ball just a little tiny bit. And now we're going to soft bounce. Okay? So that was the upper body portion. So now we're going to work on the lower body, lower lateral line. You come over the ball even a little bit more. Okay, and you can start out with a slow, dynamic stretch. Okay, now we want to do the fast dynamic stretch. You don't have to really shift anything for this. And you're going to feel more of this stretching and bouncing down here in your hip. And that's where we want to feel the low lateral line stretch. Okay. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to come around. Let's see. We want to get the upper portion first. So we slide our hips toward our feet. We get over it like this. And we get the Soft, or not the soft, the slow, dynamic stretch, focusing on the upper part of the lateral line. All right, nice. Now we want to work into the fast dynamic stretch, so we slide over the ball just a little bit, right? And we can fast dynamic stretch, or, or what they call soft bouncing. Okay, nice. That's the upper piece, now we want to get the lower piece. So to get the lower piece, we slide over even more. Right? It puts a lot more stretch down here in our hips. So we're over, contract, pre-stretch, contract, pre-tension, contract, pre-tension, contract. Pretension contract. Now to do the fast bouncing, we're going to stay right in this position, okay? And, and, but you're going to feel it down, down lower, below your rib cage, and into your hip. The fast bouncing. All right. All right. So we got an upper and lower lateral line. Slow dynamic stretch. Fast dynamic stretch. Okay. Third piece is going to be the thoracolumbar area. We're going to divide that into an upper area and a lower area, just like with the others. So to do the upper piece, we're going to slide towards our feet a little bit as we go over the, the bosu bone. Okay? And when we do this, the thoracolumbar piece, we're going to include our shoulder extension, okay? So we're over it, 
There's the pretension. Contract. Pretension. Contract. Pretension. Contract. Pretension. Contract. Okay. Now you want to you want a soft bounce on that. You're gonna drop back just a eat toward your feet just a little tiny bit more. Okay. And you're gonna use your shoulder extension. See, I'm not using I'm not lifting my feet or my thighs up off the floor. This is all the upper portion like this. And here's the soft bouncing. Okay. Alright, so now we want to get to the slow dynamic stretch for the lower portion. So you slide over the ball even more. Like that. Pretension. Contract. Pretension. Contract. Pretension. Contract. Okay, there's the slow dynamic stretch. We're gonna get the fast dynamic stretch, go over the ball even a little bit more. Okay? And you soft bounce. But as you're doing this soft bouncing with this one, you really want to come up like this. You're gonna increase the range of motion because of how far over the ball you are, okay? But it's still fast, dynamic, fast dynamic stretch, okay? All right, so there's uh, fascial fitness training over the BOSU ball. I think this will be enough, if you, we've already done it. You'll be able to remind yourself of all the things you gotta do watching this, but as always, if you get stuck on something, got a question, don't hesitate, give me a call. All right.